Hello family, hoping that you're doing well. I'm doing good too. Uh, for those who are new here, my name is Zesh Nyaga and today I'm taking you to somewhere, somewhere, somewhere good. Somewhere you can go relax, have fun. And this is Machako's People's Park. So if you are coming from Nairobi, you should alight at a showground. You don't go up to Machakos town. You alight at showground. And from showground to town, it's around five minutes. And also for those who are coming from Machakos town, you alight at showground. This actually the wall to showground, the one painted uh, red, uh, written Matu FM. So many writings there. So... Where I'm focusing, that's the way you should take. Hope you can see a billboard ahead right there. It's written Machako's People's Park. And the reason for checking on this billboard is to ensure that you are going to the People's Park on the right day. Because uh, it's not opened from Monday to Sunday. There are those days that you are supposed to go there. And there are those days that uh, it's closed. So it's good you check on the billboard and also it's indicating the distance from here to the people's park because it's not just here it's a uh, it's a bit uh down there from here if you don't have a personal car you can board a tuk-tuk or a boda boda if you board a tuk-tuk you'll pay around 50 shillings if you board a boda boda you will be expected to pay maybe a hundred shillings or 150 shillings or it depends on how you negotiate with the border border guy. So let's go and uh, see how the place looks like. I hear it has really developed. So Machakos is one of the counties I love going, especially when I want to relax. And uh, actually this, the billboard I was talking about, is around 3.7 kilometers from here. As I have told you here, if you don't have a personal car, you go by tuk-tuk or a motorbike. Or you walk. I hear people walk from here. It will take you around uh, 20 minutes. So, I have just boarded a uh, tuk-tuk. And um, I think I should be there in around 5 to 10 minutes if I'm not wrong. So as you can see, the park is not within the town. It's outside the town. And it's in a very green place full of trees here. Like you breathe in fresh air. And uh, it's, a, it's in a very secure place. The security here is very tight. Remember the government offices are on this side when i talk of government offices i mean the governor's offices right here when you focus ahead you can see a white building i hear uh it's called a it's called white house it's white everywhere that's the governor's office so let's keep going you arrive at the park uh water lake most is the fact that uh, the parking is enough as in the parking is really enough that's where you check in then you enter to any side you want like here everything i think everything is here the kids are sorted the grown-ups are sorted remember here you can uh, conduct your wedding here birthday party proposals anything you'd want there's enough space for you so another thing i love about this place is the part uh, the the part where like the pathwalks are well taken care of the place is very clean and you're welcomed by these staff on this other side as you can see this is one of the counties that are believed to be 
home of flowers as in it's clean everywhere i hope you can look uh, you can see for yourself it's around uh, 2 p.m east african time and the place looks so clean as in we have people who are employed to clean this place to cut the grass like to maintain the place into good standards so when i was talking of conducting weddings or anything you want hope you can see these spaces enough now for you so one thing about this place don't dare come here without a mask because you won't enter the gate and also inside the park you're not supposed to remove your mask have just come to this far end and without wasting much time let's explore the place together so as you can see uh we have we also have some fruits here by the way if you've come here with your food or snacks you can go identify a seat or you sit on the grass you come with your maasai or your mat or whichever you thing you're going to use Another thing I love about this place is the fa uh, fact that uh, it's uh, divided into different sections as per depending on your age. So when it comes to the kids playing area, it's on one side. When it, we talk of uh, club or restaurants, they are on other side. And as you can see, we have bins everywhere where you can keep your, your rubbish. And uh, they are strategically placed because after every pathway, we have a bin. And you're not uh, expected to drop papers down there. As you can see, it's very clean, meaning people here understand where to put their, their dirty whatevers. So those are the small, uh, how do we call it? The small to uh, gazebos I was talking about. You can come here with your family, go identify one gazebo. You sit there with your family, your friends, uh, as in anyone you want. So let's keep going. And one thing I have not mentioned, here the entry is free, you pay nothing. And we have restaurants, different restaurants. You can ha uh, come have your nyamachoma here, nyamchom. You can also take chipo, ugali, any meal you want is here. There are also people selling things like uh, smokies, eggs, ice cream for the kids. Like we have people selling snacks and uh there are so many things here in short. So on the side where we are headed, we have a big dam right here. It's called Mariba Dam. And this is where boat riding is done. So if you want to do boat riding, you can come on this side. Entry, I, how much do they charge? I really don't know how much they charge. But what I like about this place, uh, the prices are quite affordable. It's around 100 to 200 shillings. And there are fish inside. So if you are boat riding and you happen to come across a uh, fish, you're good to go. So as you can see, uh, the flowers are... Actually, they have nice flowers. I love the way they've decorated the place. I love the way the place is green. And uh, actually, this the river, uh, sorry, the dam I was talking about. So for those who take beer or any other drink right here, you are uh, good to go. Because uh, on this side, we have one of the biggest restaurants where they serve all sorts of drinks. So let's head to the other side where we have the kids area. So when you come with your kids here, they are sorted. And as you can see on this side, we have someone selling roasted maize. I love roasted maize. If you love street food like me, by the way, let me know on the comment section. You can also give the video a like if this is the kind of video that you want to watch. And uh, let's proceed to the area where we have uh, some people entertaining the kids so on this side as you can see we have so many things you can buy for your kids 
it's always good uh, for the weekends or after a while you take your kids outside so that they can go freshen up go have fun interact with others and enjoy themselves right there we have bouncing castle we also have train and there is somewhere you can go uh, ride your boat. And for the games, most of the games here go for 100 shillings. Each and every game is 100 shillings. We also have horse riding. As in, I'm very sure here kids will enjoy themselves. I think I'm now hungry and remember I told you we have people selling some snacks. So here you can get your smoky, you can get your hot dog and they sell at quite affordable prices. So let's get some so that as we walk we have something to bite. So as you can see the kids are really having fun. And uh, if you don't want to sit far from your kids, remember we have some gazib we have gazebos everywhere. You can place your order if you want some food, some drinks. You can just place your order, then you are served at somewhere you can uh, take them as you watch your kids. Remember, it's not uh, nowadays. So many things are happening. So as you have fun, as your kids have fun, it's always good to be somewhere you can watch them and know how they are doing, if they are okay, who they are interacting with, and uh, that's good. But the weather here right now is too hot, so you can have your ice cream and uh, have your salt. So for those who love music, on this other side you're sorted. That's the ground where skating is done. You can come here. If you don't know, you are trained. There is also bike riding. And if you love music, we have a dance hall on that far end where you can come, enjoy yourself. But it's, it's mostly in the evening, not during the daytime. So that's the side I'm talking about where you can come have your fun. And uh, out of 100, I can give it uh, 90%. Remember, uh, this somewhere I can recommend anyone over the weekends or anytime you feel like you want to relax, you can consider visiting this place. So I think uh, we've come to the end of the video. Guys, thanks for watching. And uh, if you've not yet subscribed, don't forget to click the subscribe button together with the bell notification icon so that anytime I upload a new video, you get notified. Subscribing is free of charge. So you can also comment what type of videos you would want to see me doing.